The topic today is what is health. It's because uh, regardless of how far we got educated, whether it was primary, secondary, no one taught us how to live healthy. And in fact, the opposite occurs. We're taught how to die young and have premature aging. So we have a very tried and true uh, premature aging and death program here. And it's not only the U.S., it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the Western world, really. And now the Western world is metastasizing, it's spreading uh, to the rest of the world. It's legacy, and its legacy is profit and lies, greed and vanity. And the consequence is everywhere I go, I see Starbucks, and everywhere I go, I see McDonald's, and everywhere I go, I see sick people, and then all, now there's a pandemic of cancer around the world. In the U.S., one out of two men will get cancer, and the one out of three women. Worldwide, it's about one out of four, one out of five. So we're exporting this madness. So that's why we need a school of life, because the truth is we don't know how to live according to our biological requirements. Anyway, so what is health is a great topic because the word is used a lot, not only inappropriately, but used, I would say, criminally. Now, if you were to ask somebody their definition of health, and you were to ask, I don't care if it's doctor or in any walk of life, most people think of health as the absence of disease. Well, health is no more the absence of disease than then light is the absence of darkness, right? How much darkness would you take out of the room to find the light? It's an absurd concept. The truth is, darkness is the absence of light, and disease is the absence of health. And that health is actually the absence of nothing. It's actually the presence of something. It's the presence of the ability to regenerate, rejuvenate, and procreate. In fact, that is the, the imperative placed upon all biological entities by God, is to regenerate, rejuvenate, and procreate.